Hello Pisces, welcome to your December 8th through 14th general love read and whatever else comes up. Um, please like, subscribe, hit the um, bell icon so you receive notification whenever I upload new videos. Also leave comments down below. I love to know if the messages resonate. If they don't, check out your other placements or you can check out my sister's channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. She's freaking amazing. And you will find her link down below in the description box with a link to the extended video that I will um, also provide at the end of the year that you can go to if you want to look further into your person and any other energies or messages that may want to come up. Alrighty. I'll also, you'll find information there where you can sign up for personal lead as well. All right, what is the highest message from my Pisces? What is the highest message from my Pisces? Keep in mind that December 14th is the new moon in Sagittarius, in Sagittarius and it's all about new beginnings and it's a strong energy. Um, you know, it's catapulting us into the new year with setting intentions. And we have the December 21, with is all, which is all about the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn and start of the era of Aquarius, way beyond what I know. I'm just giving you some general information. I would look it up if I were you. It has a lot to do with how you've been feeling lately. Awareness. And maybe that is how you have been feeling lately. You've been connected lately and you've noticed a lot of changes. You've been connected to the universe and you feel like things have been manifesting for you a lot quicker and easier. You see through bullshit easier. You see life differently. And you may be connecting higher to the universe, but you might be disconnecting um, from a lot of people that you have around you because of this newfound awareness. You could be having a spiritual awakening, not realize it and not understand why nobody understands you or you don't connect with anybody anymore. But you're, you're moving up, you're moving into a higher level of consciousness. And this is where life begins. This is where you start creating abundance for yourself. And this is where you feel these energies, this movement um, that um, is, and this is where you start setting intentions to create all this. It's all coming in for you. There's a shift in the consciousness um, collectively, okay? If you want to learn more about that, also, um, you know, just do some research. This is very powerful. There's a lot of new beginnings coming here for you because you are shifting into this new awareness. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to take a look. Um, that's a beautiful message. I just, I feel that message. I feel like you, if some of you don't understand this new way of feeling, if you're feeling um, just a little disconnected or you're feeling some strange energies or not like um, you know what's going on anymore, it's just a shift. It's a shift and um, a lot of new beginnings are coming. A lot of changes here are coming for everybody. And let's see what else we have here for my Pisces. Full awareness, Pisces. I love it. Decrease. Decrease. What do I feel like with this card? This is a cycle. Okay. And you're filtering. I feel like you're filtering through everything in your life right now. You're filtering through your, your, your family members, your friends, the way you think, the way you see things. And you're clearing out all the junk and you're filtering your mind. You're trying to cleanse and clean and see things from a whole different perspective. You're trying, when I see the word decrease, I think of letting go of attachments. This is a new cycle for you. You're beginning a new cycle and you're starting to understand what it means to let go of outcomes and attachments. You're starting to see that you do not need the things that you think you do. You do not need the old habits, the old ways of thinking. Um, the, the, some people around you that do not serve you. You don't need these energies anymore and you want to lighten the load. And this is that awareness that you're having. And look, I have one and I have four, which is 14, which is December 14th is the new moon in Sagittarius. Please do some research and look at how this moon will affect you and how potent this moon is and some of the intentions and ceremonies or whatever you do. If you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about and don't care, jump forward to the tarot. If you do understand and this resonates, please look that up because this is a real powerful shift in consciousness in a time and it's an opportunity for you to really um, set some new intentions and some goals and watch your life just change, right? Watch everything manifest a lot easier for you because you're opening up your consciousness. Alrighty. 
Alrighty. I'm going to keep that there. I think that's good enough. You know what? I feel like getting an Alice card for you because I feel like you're, um, you, and this is all I want to say. You can't go back to yesterday, okay? Be in the present right now. And this is part of decreasing, holding on to the past. You're decreasing. You're letting go. You can't go back, back there. You can't change that anymore. You can't go back. I mean, you could you could revise it if you want. It's a whole another topic, but just keep moving forward. Let go of the attachments that you have and give yourself more space, more breathing room. Decrease the attachments, let go, and move forward. All right, that was it. Now we're going to get a love message. And I promise we're going to get a love message and get into the tarot. What love message do we have for my Pisces? Pisces. Two more shuffles here. Pisces. Don't forget to check out the extended where I'll probably go further into um, this read and any um, if somebody comes up or love comes in, I'm gonna go further into that question and how it evolves. I said two more shuffles, but I kept going. I don't know. I just let my hands do it. My hands know better than I do sometimes. We have let your friends help you, okay? So I'm getting the feeling about this here, too, is that I do feel like you might be going through a, fam um, a, a period here where you feel isolated or maybe um, nobody understands you or you feel a little disconnected. Um, you may need to seek out some support. Maybe there's a new support system around you. Maybe if you just kind of open up and get online and look for a new community um, and start researching some of this spiritual stuff and awareness and awakening, um, you may find that, like even being here in tarot, you're finding yourself together with new um, a, a new community, a new support system, people who understand you and understand what you're going through. So when I see this card, it's just a reminder to just, you know, the help is there, the support is there. All right, everything's here. The information's here. You're guided towards this channel for some reason. Whether I lead you to another channel or I lead you or I plant a seed and lead you in another direction, you're moving in the right direction. You you are having some sort of um, a connection with this change and shift in consciousness. Okay, but trust, trust that this is all unfolding for you the way it's supposed to. Everything is unfolding for you. All right, let's get into tarot. For some reason, that's everything that, that I could get. I need to catch my breath. There's a lot of energy right there. You need to trust. You need to trust. Now, Tara is going to take me into... Um, why did I grab... Okay, I grabbed these cards. I'm going to take these cards. Because my hands want to run the show today. What do we have for my Pisces? What is going on? It seems like this week is all about you. That's why... Maybe that's why love's not coming up just yet. But it's also this trust card is this situation is calling for you to have faith okay so if love's not moving for you right now maybe it's just it's telling you um the universe is saying just to you know kind of sit back and have a little faith and let things unfold all right because it is working out for you it's all working out it's always working out for you in your favor okay all right show me what's going on with pisces in their love life all right so there could have been or a possibility of a breakup or a heartache or a third party. Um, that's not, that's just the overall energy. It could be, you may have had this happen to you in the past and that's why this is causing you, I mean, calling for you to have some sort of trust in this situation, okay? You could be afraid of heartbreak here. We have the four of wands. So this is the past position. We have the queen of swords who's known to be a little bit cold and emotionally detached. I love her. She's the bitch, you know, but she is a bitch because she's hiding her true feelings and she knows she has a lot to offer. Um, there was sort of a connection here in the past um, in the Page of Swords. So you are definitely here in the recent past. Could have been connected definitely with an heir, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but you're, you're keeping an eye on somebody who you were committed to in the past you can't stop thinking about somebody you may be watching them and keeping an eye a close eye on them you may be acting like a, a bitch to this person um you may be acting emotionally detached to this person 
but you definitely had a relationship of some sort or some sort of commitment with this person in the past. And you possibly, well, in the past, here it's showing that you definitely, you know, you can't stop thinking about them and that you may have reached out or may have thought about reaching out. And the current situation, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Strength card and we have the Ten of Cups, okay? So this is good. In the current situation, it's trusting news coming in for you. So in the recent past, you may have been sitting around just waiting and wanting and, feel, and seeming like you were emotionally detached. Your person could have been appearing like they were emotionally detached. They could have been the ones that were um, lurking and thinking about you and sort of spying on you and keeping an eye on you and thinking about messaging you. Okay, that's the, that's the other way to look at this. Remember, energies can be switched, right? This is a general reading, so I can't necessarily pinpoint one energy for, per person. But I'm getting the feeling, though, this committed relationship that you had in the past, your person is acting emotionally detached um, and was thinking about messaging you and was watching you and keeping an eye on you. In the current situation, it shows this person honestly reaching out, reaching out for you. They're coming in. They want to talk. They want to nurture this relationship. We have with the Page of Pentacles and the Strength card could be connecting with a Leo. They de and we have the Ten of Cups here. They want to nurture this relationship. They want to try again. They want to heal this. They're bringing in this news. They're finally reaching out to you. They are finally reaching out to you after studying you for a while. You could have been separated for a while. And that's why the situation could be calling for you to have faith. But they may be coming in now and they're ready to heal this situation. Heal the relationship. This could have been a long-term relationship. It could have been a marriage because we had the, um, the four of wands here in the past. Definitely a celebration of some sort. You could have known each other just for a long time, been committed. But this is all about healing. Healing. This whole current situation, this week is about healing. It's about a new cycle here with this past person. And they're on the same page as you. I'm getting um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again, like I said. And I'm getting Leo, strong Leo. But I have all the signs here. I have all the signs here except um, Leo, Aries, Sag. So you could also be connecting with the Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, another one. But it's definitely a healing of this relationship. Okay. Whether it's just healing, maybe, you know, healing can also be that two people are, are coming together just to heal um, a relationship. You've known each other so long, and in the past, if you were dating or together and it just didn't work out, but you loved this person and you knew this person, you guys may just be healing your friendship. But I get relationship here more so with the Ten of Cups. So it's like you're trying to mend it again. You're coming in and you're trying to mend it. We have the Queen of Cups here. The most in, one of the the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Here you are in the in the near future, totally healed, intuitive, in your in your um, true nurturing self, very emotional, intuitive, and you have the Four of Pentacles. So, in the near future, this is where. Your person's coming back. Let me get one more one more card. The lovers here. Yes, choice. Okay. So your person here is definitely coming back in the current situation. And they want to heal this relationship. They want to work on this relationship. They want this they want this to last. We have you here, your queen of cups. You're very intuitive, very emotional, but you also can be very guarded and shut down if you don't want to get hurt again. And you definitely, definitely can hide your emotions like no other. Maybe even so, maybe even more than the Queen of Swords. You can detach and hide your true feelings. Which is why this energy back here is probably connected to the two. You have the Four of Pentacles. You just can't let go, maybe, of something that happened in the past, right? But you have to make this choice. You're being called to make this choice with the Lover's card. You have the Lovers, you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Four of Wands in your read. This is a solid commitment 
a long-term commitment that could possibly lead to marriage. Or maybe you have been married and you were separated. Maybe you were going to get married and then you guys got cold feet and separated. But this here with the lovers and the ten of cups, this is somebody who wants to have a solid relationship with you and wants to move on to the future. You could be connecting with a Gemini. Actually, it's funny. You should read the Gemini um, read the spread because my Gemini had the same letting go energy where they needed to let go and, and receive this love and trust this love as well too. So you may be connecting with a Gemini, somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. You may have strong Gemini in your chart and not know it. Um, but this resonates a lot with that read. And I feel like you're being asked to let go a little bit, drop that guard a little bit, and make the choice to give this a shot with this person. This person's coming back with nurturing energy here. The Page of Pentacles and the, the Strength card is all about healing, strength, healing a bond, um, you know, nurturing, being, having courage, pride, confidence, Page of Pentacles, health, good news, you know, just wanting to come in and really create trust in reliable, solid commitment with the Ten of Cups and the lovers here. Like the choices here, this could be a twin flame connection. This could be a soulmate connection, but the angels are guiding you. The universe is guiding you here and you need to, you don't need to do anything, but you have, you have a choice to make and you could possibly be walking down, um, lover's lane here with the one if you choose this person but choose always choose wisely and um make sure you're you're making choices that's that benefit you as well too um if this is and what i mean by that and i'm just going to throw this out there as a disclaimer but i don't um condone any sort of abusive relationship or toxic relationship um, I'm not talking about this here in my reads. When I'm talking about this read right here, this is a healthy, this is somebody who wants to come back and really um, work on a relationship, a solid, healthy relationship. They want to nurture this. This is healthy reconciliation, awareness, trust. This isn't somebody who's a narcissist or abusive or, or you've been down this road 10 million times and you've been beaten. I'm not going there. I don't go there in my reads. If I were to get that in a read, I would tell you to walk away completely. Um, this is a more nurturing relationship. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there because I all I notice in comments a lot. People are like, oh, he did this, he that, she did this, she... I don't condone toxic behavior. I never will. Walk away, let them heal. Alrighty? So if this message resonates, I love this. I'm going to take this into the extended and I'm going to... I'm going to move into this lover here and this person here. I'm going to take a look at their energy and I'm going to see what they're truly feeling, what they're truly thinking, any actions or blockages that may be stopping them from taking action um, and or you and any advice the universe may have. But in the current situation, they are sending you messages. They have decided to reach out to you and work on this. They have decided to reach out so they could, you guys can work on this. Alrighty. I love this, guys. Please click the um, like button down below, the bell, the comments, and check out my sister's channel, Baddison Intuitive Tarot. I love you guys. Check out the extended. Take care.